Just about anyone from young kids to grandparents can learn to wake surf. And whether you're a veteran surfer who needs some tips to help teach others, or you're learning for the first time yourself, I'm going to help save you some falls by going over the fundamentals in this video. If you've been surfing for several seasons and want a new challenge, wake foiling is the next level. The board is similar to wake surfing, but the feeling is completely different. How to set up your boat for wake surfing. To start out, aim for a wave that's just big enough to give the surfer the feeling of the wave's push, and make the wave as long as possible by evenly weighting the boat from front to back and setting the power wedge 3 on 1 or 2. Little or no ballast is best. Set surf gate to whatever side they want and your speed control to around 10.5, 11 mile an hour. When the rider is ready for a steep, powerful wave with plenty of push, empty some of the forward ballast and set the power wedge 3 to somewhere around 3 to 6 for left foot forward riders. To counter prop rotation, set the power wedge 3 between 1 to 4 when your surfer is on the right hand side. How to set up your boat with surf band. You can also customize your wave while you ride with surf band. Adjust speed and music volume up or down, pick which side you want to surf on, and choose your power wedge 3 setting all from your wrist. Transfers are easy too. Just hit the arrow for the opposite side and you'll hear a series of horns telling you when to switch. Start back on the wave and pump forward as you hear the first two horns, then hop over to the other side as you hear the longer horn. Driving. When the rider is in a good position, slowly ease the throttle forward. It doesn't take much to pop most riders out of the water if their form is decent. So the last thing you want to do with beginners is hammer the throttle down. You can also slightly turn toward the surfer as they're riding to keep them out of the prop wash and in the cleaner water. Getting up. Start with the rider on the sun pad with their knees bent, arms straight, and holding the handle. This helps imitate what a rider can expect to feel when they get in the water. Pull the other end of the handle and tell them to come up with you as you pull on the line. This helps show that if they were on the ground and you were helping them up, they would do some of the work by bending their knees and trying to sit up at the same time rather than flattening out and resisting you, which is what most people instinctually do behind the boat when they're getting up on a wake surfer for the first time. When this is clear in their mind, take it to the water with a buoyant stable board that has a large fin for tracking. Have them lay in the water with their heels on the board and the handle in hand. Just like on the sun pad, the rider can expect the same thing to happen when the boat begins to pull them. Riding. Your back foot is your brake and your front foot is your gas. Shift your weight slightly onto your toes or heels to turn the direction of the board. Try to stay in the wave's pocket by using the gas and brake movements until you feel the wave start to push you. When you're consistently getting pushed by the wave with the rope slack, you can now throw it onto the platform or over to the other side of the wave so your crew can pull it in. With Axis, you can go unbelievably far back on the wave and it's worth a fall or two to figure out just how far back you can go. This length will help with tricks later on too. How to set up your boat for wake foiling. Foiling all starts with the right boat setup. To start off, don't even touch the ballast buttons. A Mellor Wave is a lot better at this point. Just set your surf side, keep the power wedge three in lift mode, and freehand the throttle to keep the speed between six to 10 miles per hour. Also, make sure you use a longer rope, like a wakeboard mainline, which will make it much easier to stay away from the prop wash and in the clean water. Take off very slowly. Setting your board up for success. Start out with a shorter mast and a smaller wing, somewhere around a 26 inch mast and a wing that has 170 square inches or smaller works for most people. Adjust the foil mast to be under your rear foot all the way at the back of the track. This will help keep your board in the water for longer. Getting up. Start with your back foot just a little in front of the mast. Hold the board onto your feet with your back hand while your front hand holds the handle. As you get up, keep your weight shifted toward the front of the board to keep the board on the water. Riding. When you're ready, raise the board up by transferring some of your weight to your back foot and then trying to level it off. And if you look down, you'll probably fall down. So keep your gaze 15 to 20 feet in front of you and don't bend at the waist like a folding chair. When it comes to turning, point the nose of the board in the direction you want to go with your front foot. When you're feeling good, cross outside the wake so you feel the wave pushing you. And then when you're ready, shorten the line and move up to the first roller. Falling. There's a lot going on with the wake foil setup, and you don't want to be anywhere near it when you fall. So you can either hang onto the rope a little longer than you normally would to pull yourself away from the mast and wing, or kick it out with your feet. 
I really hope this video has been super informative for you all. Enjoy your time on the water, trust the process, and have fun.